with a bit of luck, I'll still be able to uh, make some great videos. Great videos? Passable videos. Voila! Now that's French. I don't know Spanish for here it is or what the French would say, uh, Spanish would say in this situation. And they are absolutely gorgeous. And I just realised I don't think I pressed record. No, I did. It's cool. Buenos dias. So, I'm going to make some tacos. So, we're going to make some fish tacos. Great for lunch, great for dinner. Probably get away with having them for breakfast. But we've got some really nice, fresh Cornish mackerel. And that's going to go under a medium grill with some streaky bacon. So, mine's already on. Whack that under there. Forget about it for a little bit. Now, I've got some lovely heirloom tomatoes. I just dropped this one, which is why it looks a bit uh, weird. But um, it was fine before I got my hands on it. Got a lovely, great Spanish onion. Massive bastard it is. Probably only gonna need half of this. But tomatoes, chilies, onion, bit of lime. Gonna make ourselves a lovely salsa. Also got some creme fraiche and some limes. We're gonna make some, ah, oh, coriander. I need a load of coriander. Loads of coriander as well. That put some of that in the salsa. We're gonna use some of that with the creme fraiche and some lime to make a Mexican uh, coriander crema. And I've got a lovely ripe avocado. So we're gonna make ourselves a lovely bit of guac. So, let's get going. First things first, I'm gonna slice all these tomatoes and I'm gonna take out all the um, all the runny, juicy stuff on the inside, all the seeds and all the juice. You don't want any of that, you just want the flesh of the tomato. And I'm gonna dice up half an onion as well. Super fine, same with the chilies. You want everything really fine, tiny little half centimeter cubes, if that. So I'm gonna get them going and I'll be back in a sec. And there we go. A bit of a clean up and then we're gonna make a guac. There you go. And you got. Perfect avocado, uh, perfect guacamole. You can put some coriander in there if you want, diced chilies. I'm not gonna judge you, but that on its own is absolutely perfect. Another bowl. Next, we are gonna make our Mexican crema. So, crema, you can make your own crema. It's kind of a consistency in between sour cream and creme fraiche. Um, you can make it yourself. I think you need yogurt and buttermilk, or buttermilk and, I think it's either yogurt and milk or buttermilk and milk. They sour and they, make themselves a, uh, it goes off essentially. It's, I think it's a cultured fermentation. Takes a little while and it's a bit of a, um, a faff. So what I, what's an easier way of doing it, it's kind of cheating to make a crema, is you get creme fraiche and a spoon, which is always handy. A couple of dessert, I'm using a dessert spoon. I I've got to say, that's a, say two tablespoons for what we need of creme fraiche. And then the juice, of quarter of a lime, I think I've probably got left left in here. All right. So and a little pinch of salt. And a little pinch of salt. And just essentially dilute the creme the creme fraiche with the lime juice and you get a Mexican crema. I actually need a little bit more, just a little bit more lime. Just a quarter of a lime. Get that all stirred right in. And we're just gonna let that sit for a little while. And the lime juice and the creme fraiche is gonna break down that coriander a little bit. And it's all just gonna merge into one nice, take on everyone else's flavors. Right, so we'll put that to one side as well. I'm gonna have a quick tidy up, be right back. All right, back. So, we had a bit of tidy up, bit of organized. Almost time to start constructing. I've got a pan on a medium heat, preheating to warm up toast our tortillas. We're gonna take our mackerel fillets and the bacon, and we're literally gonna peel it. Essentially, we're gonna pull the meat off the bread, off the bread, off the skin, and chuck it in a bowl. If you feel any bones, because mackerel can have a few little bones in there, just wanna uh, try and get rid of them. Now, I quite like the skin of mackerel. If I'm frying it and I have it on its own, I will crisp that skin up in the pan and I'll have it. But in this instance, it doesn't really work so well. You can do the same with the other fillets. You can just kind of just pinch it off the skin. And with the bacon, we're just gonna, should be relatively crispy. Okay. 
can crush that bacon down, crunch that bacon down. Doesn't matter if it's all not super crispy. If you want it, you can whack it back under the grill on its own to get it super crispy. All right, now that's ready. I'll leave that on one side. Right, tortillas. The smaller wheat tortillas, so much better for tacos. Uh, the smaller, sorry, these smaller corn tortillas are so much better for tacos, in my opinion. Uh, you can even get the even smaller ones that are like super corn tortillas. Corn tortillas are definitely the way to go, if you ask me. Get that out of the way. So, hot pan, just keep it moving. I'm going to get a plate out because we're going to start plating soon. So, while that's toasting off, a couple of radishes. Standard, just salad radishes. We're just gonna slice them. About the thickness of a know, 50p, 20p, sank in that region. I need a couple, two, maybe three of these sort of size ones. And we've got fresh chili that we are going to, see when it starts to puff up like that, that's when it's time to give it a turn and keep an eye on it. We've got a thin, a fresh chili that we're gonna, very thin slices of chili we've also got some of my pickled jalapenos that i made in this video absolutely beautiful if i say so myself they're gorgeous we're going to use some of them as well once a fresh chili for the sort of bitter bang Ooh. that one out whack in the other one they just become instantly more pliable as well once they're toasted up and it gets so much more flavor we're also going to shred up Take that top leaf off because it's a bit manky by the looks of it. So, if you want a bit of shredded lettuce, you can literally just off the whole. I keep all of my lettuce on the root because it lasts infinitely longer. But you can just slice off bits as you want it. There you go. So, I'm just going to shred that. All right. And there we go. So, oh, almost burnt that one. All right. So, construction. Got a tortilla. I like to start with half decent portion of guac, straight down the middle, end to end. Acts as a nice like mounting glue for everything else. Then in with our mackerel and bacon, straight down the middle there, half of that. Then salsa along one side. Our Mexican. Crema along the other. This is also really good if you want it really spicy, really quite calms it down. So a few rounds of chili, a few rounds of the radish, a few pickled jalapenos for again a bit of heat but also that tanginess, the that pickled freshness, and along some shredded lettuce as well. And dusting of coriander just to garnish and also to add a bit of freshness. So pick that up on a plate, rinse and repeat with the second one. And there you go. And now to plate them, if you fold them up like that, you can get two on a plate quite nicely side by side. Voila. No, that's French. I don't know Spanish for here it is or what the French would say, uh, Spanish would say in this situation. But great lunch, it's great dinner, really nice mixed flavours. You can use, leave out the bread dishes or you can use shop bought salsas or shop bought guac. Don't know, make your own guac, it's so much better. But there you go. Mix this up. Usually people have tacos, they'll have chicken or they'll have mincemeat or they'll have just bits of steak. But a fish taco is like, it's big, in Mexico, fish tacos are a commonplace thing and they are absolutely gorgeous. So I'm gonna take some sexy photos of these for the thumbnail. Try and tidy up the plate, plate a little bit. But crack up in a cerveza in the summer, sit out on the veranda or in your garden or wherever and have a bit of fun. And the whole family can get involved. Like you can out make a production line with the kids and they'll put a little bit on and they'll do their own little thing or put everything out on a table on its own and you just build your own tacos and it's gorgeous, beautiful. But yeah, like, comment, and subscribe. You know the drill. Those are beautiful. And I am gonna have 
a munch on them. And I'll uh, see you when I see you, people. Adios.